It's giving, let's go to Target. <laughs> oh my God. Why do pickles hit so hard when you're pregnant? The sous vide? <laughs> sous vide? I don't know. Beyond Beef is approved. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. Uh, today is currently Tuesday, April 2nd, and I just posted this morning our gender reveal with my family, so it's been so much fun seeing all of your comments and everyone getting excited. It is hard, like, because I, I feel bad for people who got it spoiled in the comments because there's a lot of blue, so if you missed it, we are having a boy, and it's crazy it's, it's so exciting i'm so glad the secret's out and we can talk about it and not almost let it slip the laundry's going upstairs if you can hear it so i got back like i've said a million times we got back from florida my mom and i on saturday night then we hosted easter on sunday slash gender reveal slash my mom's birthday and then yesterday was monday it was my mom's birthday she came over we gave her her birthday gifts and just hung out for a bit because we were still pretty tired. My mom was like, we don't need to do anything special. Let's just hang out. Um, and we watched John Mulaney and just open gifts. So since yesterday, I didn't really get anything done. I was so tired yesterday. I took a two hour nap. It was great. <laughs> and now um, we're treating today kind of like a Monday post vacation reset. We have like no groceries. Like I was literally just looking for breakfast. I'm like, I don't even know. <laughs> Actually, wait, do we have? Okay, wait. we do have cereal, standby. One thing I really miss since gastric bypass is cereal. Like you forget how just bomb a big bowl of cereal is. Um, but it's just too much sugar, especially with like traditional dairy, the dairy and the sugar is just like, it really upsets my stomach. So I have to opt for like a low sugar, high protein cereal. So I'll either do Magic Spoon, but I recently found these at Whole Foods and it's really good. It's like a Fruit Loop vibe from Three Wishes. It's low sugar, high protein and pairing it with like almond milk. It's great. That's what we're having for breakfast. I had to place a massive grocery order I'm not grocery shopping in person today because we just needed so, so much like a restock of everything. So um, I placed that for pickup later today. And I also need to run to Target and just grab some like household stuff. So I will take you guys along with me. This is really good dry too. This was the only flavor I've tried of this brand. So I wanna try other ones. And then, like I said, Yara's doing laundry. So I'm gonna fold that later. Um, I have a lot of stuff from vacation. At some point, we really need to do a closet purge. Because <laughs> mm. I really want to do it before my bump really starts to bump. And just see like what pieces I have not really been grabbing. Put away winter sweaters. Pull out like the summer basket. And just kind of like start to switch things over. Do a little bit of purging. Yara and I are actually going to do like a ton of spring cleaning um, within the house this year. Just to like slowly start prepping for the baby, um, especially before the third trimester in a few months. So we're gonna try to get like a lot of organization done. The basement was so organized for so long. It's definitely <laughs> not as organized now. Um, so we need to go through and do that. Like all the closets, there's just like a lot of spring cleaning organization that I wanna do um, before the third trimester, before I potentially get tired since I'll be in my third trimester throughout the summer. And we might not want to do too much, so we'll see. So yeah, on the agenda, groceries, Target run, fold laundry. We're just going to hang out today. So I'm going to go eat my cereal. I threw on um, just some Color Science tinted SPF. And I got like one of these little bronzer sticks from them too. I don't know if it looks good or not. It's like all I have on my face and I feel like it, I don't know. I don't know if it looks good, but I didn't feel like putting on full makeup. So this is just where we're at today. Oh, and side note. Um, this shirt, I've had this for so long. It is such, such a comparable feeling to the Skims. I think it's a soft lounge or the Jersey cotton, but I love this. They have so many colors. I think it goes up to a three X and it's so stretchy, so comfy, so soft. They're from Amazon. I'll link it. It's like truly feels, feels the same. It's kind of wild. And then I have on my little quilted pants from One Loved Babe. And I think I'm going to throw on this jacket to go with it when I go out. Kind of a cute little like, casual spring outfit. Probably some sneakers. I'll show you guys when I 
I'm about to head out. A few minutes later. Yar said my jacket is cool and trendy. Yeah, it does this? It does match my pants. Is it? Mom energy. Mom energy? Oh yeah. Glasses, the buns up, like. I love when I love when you hype up my outfit. Are you sure the pants are not like too close? Run with it. Run with it. You're good. Statement. Thank you. Thank you. It's giving, let's go to Target. <laughs> let's go to Target. I'm not letting Yarman come with me because I <laughs> want to peruse. Don't let your man go if you want to peruse. Ah, oh, my happy place. But first, pregnancy calls. They have a bunch of Easter stuff, 50% off. Oh, these are cute, these little candles. I'm allowing myself a good peruse today because I feel like it. <laughs> of course, we gotta do a quick putz around the home. Oh my gosh, wait, I love this so much. That's definitely new. I wonder if I have a spot for it, probably not. Ooh, I love that too. I love all these like textures and neutral colors. I always see this lamp and I love it. Maybe we'll be able to put it in the baby's room at some point when we start to do that. If it's still here, when we start to do the nursery, it's meant to be, but I just, oh, I just love it. I think it'd be so cute in the nursery. Oh, I love this too, with like the little droopy droop. Oh, I am obsessed. I don't know if I have a spot for it, but I love that. Oh, and they have like a little mini version, like the same one I just showed you, but smaller. That's cute. This is what we have in our kitchen, by the way. It's still here. Also, I had one of these candles before they have an amazing throw so i think i'm gonna get another one for the kitchen because we need another one these are such good candles all right i'm gonna do the masala rose it's very springy we also got rid of a ton of our tumblers so i might grab another one because i only have one 40 ounce tumbler now so i just want to get another one for when it's dirty all right, I'm not loving any of these. I might look in the other section. The whole Stanley lead thing really freaked me out, so we don't have them anymore. Okay, so there are some other ones in this little section here. I don't know. A Walla? Maybe I'll just Amazon one, because I'm not, I'm not feeling any. All right, I'm gonna get these for Bruno. That took him two minutes, <laughs> so we'll see how these go. Now I cannot resist looking at baby stuff everywhere I go. We're looking into like the snoo or something like that. I've heard about this brand for moms. They have a lot of these kind of things on marketplace or you can rent them because they don't use them that long I think. Gosh this little robe. Oh my god. I can't. These are so freaking cute. I think that something fun to do would be to like allow myself one baby item per week you know that could be fun <laughs> trying to justify it but i'm excited this is so exciting i will say every time we come here i love these these little like jungle themed swaddle blankets i'm kind of tempted i'm tempted and then i also really like the little winnie the pooh those are cute and then i have wrap swaddles they have a lot of swaddles <laughs> So many kinds. God, look at, I love little baby clothes. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so cute for a little summer cookout. These are like toddler clothes. I need like newborn onesies. Okay, I finally found the cute little baby clothes. Oh my goodness. Oh, so sweet. So cute. Are you kidding me? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. But if he's born at the end of September, I mean, I could get an older one. But we just don't know how big he's gonna be and how fast he'll grow. Oh, I feel like I unlocked a whole section I didn't even know about. It's all over here. Oh my god. Wait, is this on sale? 12 bucks? I might have to get this for him. Oh my god. This might be my purchase of the week. Oh, that's so... 12 bucks? Are you kidding me? With like a little shirt, a little long sleeve shirt underneath for the fall. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I think I feel very confident with my choice because this will be perfect for his first month or so, you know, with like a long sleeve shirt or sweater and for 12 bucks on sale, it's half off. Yeah, this is what we're getting for our first baby purchase. Stars Above has some of my favorite pajamas. I found kind of like a dupe for them on Amazon, so I'll link the dupe 
but um, I really like this pattern and the fabric. I love a matching PJ set, and one of my actually really old ones from Stars Above is like all ripped here. <laughs> I think I'm a violent sleeper, so I think I'm gonna grab this set. I also love the look of these, but guys, I find whenever I wear a shirt with buttons when I sleep, they just totally come undone in the morning, like fully undone. Well, 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 look who decided to add some plus to the freaking underwear department. I feel like at this Target, they haven't had it in a while. So this is exciting. These bras look really nice. Like these little sets are so adorable. I like desperately need more underwear. These are cute. These look comfy. They're so soft. They're seamless. Ooh, maybe I'll try them. These feel, guys, these are like so soft. All right, I'm buying two of the briefs. These are the only colors they had in the 1X, so we'll see if they're good, fingers crossed. Every time I look at this, my heart explodes. Okay, something we actually need. Boop, boop, boop. I texted my friend about one item <laughs> for the baby per week, and she goes, you know damn well. <laughs> It's not gonna be one per week and I'm like oh my god you're so right one per week till the third trimester because that's when it'll ramp up one a week in the second trimester for now we'll see if that rule changes <laughs> all right we need strawberry cream cheese one thing I really wasn't expecting to miss so much during pregnancy is deli meat I never give a crap about deli meat now that I'm pregnant I want deli meat need buffalo it's cliche but I love pickles right now. You already know the drill. The best tissues. Also, I swapped this for an XXL. They're pretty forgiving. I have the XL now, but I'd rather size up right now. I got one of these body sprays for a birthday gift for my mom. These are so good. This is Yar's fave deodorant. I already have to pee again. Success. We did good, you guys. Okay, I am back home. You know when a Target trip just hits so hard? I was putzing for about an hour and a half. It was great. I don't think I should, I mean, I can do a very quick haul, but you guys saw everything at Target. Little pajamas, undies. I sent a pic of this to my mom, my grandma, my two closest friends, and to Yar, and everyone was like, it's so cute. This is so exciting. This is like the first piece of baby clothes that I bought. Oh, cool. Cause this is the Little Planet Organic. Huh, packaged with love. 75% recycled materials. Cute, oh. Even the little cuffed bottom, I just, I die. I just wash my hands cause I need, I need a pickle. I went to have a pickle last night and we didn't have any. And I was just like, I have to get some. Mm. Why do pickles hit so hard when you're pregnant? It did for me the last time I was pregnant too. Don't mind me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I gave Bruno one of these. He loved it. I don't think he's ever rejected a kindful item from Target. FYI, they can only have a half if they're under 70 pounds. So I'm glad I read that. Yeah, you guys already saw everything. I'm not gonna bore you, but I'm gonna light this candle because I'm telling you, it just, these fill the room. And the rose, it's so springy. Do you need to go potty? Go pee pee poo poo? Go ahead. Good boy. It's actually pretty nice out today. It's not like hot, but it's just nice to see some sun. <laughs> like uh, when we came back from Florida for like a hot second, I was like, I think I want to move to Florida. And then I'm like, okay. Bring it down. You would regret that after a week. Also, my family brought me flowers um, on Easter. These daffodils and then some Easter lilies. I'm watering them every day, but I'm so impressed. They like opened up immediately the next day. So look at how pretty. Can she keep them alive? Also, what do I do with these? <laughs> do you just kind of like let them vibe on the counter do i need to plant them things to ask my mom and grandmother that have green thumbs all right we just had lunch and now i've got my handy dandy folding partner you gonna help me fold mr Plout? yes washing the bedding right now and the whites are in the dryer I've got a yummy drink got some youtube let's do it Beneath the 
Yard just went and picked up the groceries. This is a lot. 13 bags. 13 bags. That's what happens, you know, when you go on vacation. So, all right. Let's put it all away. Do I even do a haul or should I just put it away? I get the same stuff like every time I grocery shop too. Like we have the same order. Orange juice. Chobani. Oh no. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, the good grapes are done. I'm heartbroken. Are they not in season? I don't know. <laughs> but I've been getting um, a bag of green grapes yeah. like every week because it's been like such a pregnancy craving. And these are all soft and small and not big and hard and crunchy. Okay. Oh, another pregnancy craving. Actually, that's a lie. I, I eat this all the time. Mini cucumbers and I just wash them and dip them in hummus. I'm definitely actually gonna have this like soon <laughs> for an afternoon snack. Ooh, I wanted it so bad last night. I'm so excited. We're definitely gonna do like that video where you try pregnancy craving, like weird pregnancy cravings. And I'm really curious to see how they taste. All right, got restock of rice, a bunch of quinoa blends, minced ginger. Yar likes to put ginger in his smoothies. I got a bunch of berries. I'm gonna like prep them. These don't look good either. I'm shocked. This is really confusing. Can you get a refund? Yeah, I can get a refund. Like these are all um, yucky. I'm just surprised. The jumbo blueberries look good. I'm just surprised because I've never had an issue with um, them picking out produce, really. I guess that's one reason to like go into the store, but. Let's see how the raspberries look. The raspberries look good. There's a bunch of brown lettuce in here. I will say if, if you do like the Whole Foods pickup on Amazon, they're really good about like refunding things that aren't great. We've got these little Triscuit dupes. Love these with some cheese. We always have microwave popcorn in the house if we want some and we ran out, so I just restocked it. I'm gonna make like some healthy oat cookies with like low sugar chocolate chips and maple syrup and stuff just for like a sweet treat. Um, I'm gonna make some vegan tacos this week. So I got salsa. My favorite pretzels were on sale yet again. We love these little salt and vinegar, like they're kind of like Pringles um, with like a sandwich or something. I guess I am doing a grocery haul. Oh yeah, for the vegan tacos. Actually, I think I'm gonna make those tonight and I'll show you them. So I've got taco shells, taco seasoning, and then we always have like little bean canned beans in the house. They're just like a great fiber protein source. So I just always keep a bunch of the cans. Oh, and then I've got refried beans for the tacos as well. They're not vegan. They're vegetarian. These are the chocolate chips that we get, the Lilies. It's no added sugar and um, they're really good. And they're often on sale there too. They're made with stevia. So I got two bags, one for the cookies and then one for making more of our little stuffed dates. Snickers, got his bagals. <gasps> Another thing I'm gonna do, I saw a reel on how to make the Starbucks egg bites at home and like the right way to make them with like, I don't know how to say it, the sous vide? <laughs> sous vide? I don't know. Make some really fluffy, they like baked it with a pan of water underneath them and like blended cottage cheese with the eggs. I don't know, I'm gonna try it at some point. And we always have a little thing of milk in the house. I'm telling you, this was a full restock. We got a bunch of lemons. We miss making lemon water. We used to drink a lot of it. It just, it's so refreshing. And then bananas. Um, got some plant-based breakfast patties. We're just trying to cut back on meat here and there. And then I love these protein blends. They're great with like the quinoa blends for like an easy lunch. And if you wanna like add some grilled chicken or something. So this is the Caribbean protein blend. It's got like beans, spinach, kale, kidney beans, corn, and red bell pepper. And then this is the Pacific protein blend with lentils, broccoli, peas, soybeans, and yellow pepper, also the protein blend. Oh, and then I love getting these when they're on sale, these little baby potatoes. All right, we've got three bags left. Cheese, cheese, cottage yes. cheese, <laughs> chess. And then I decided to go all out for these egg bites because I love the bacon egg bites that are Gruyere cheese with bacon. So I got some shredded Gruyere. 
And then I also got some um, almond milk tortellinis from Kite Hill. And then we've got onion and the dates for the little Snickers, some avocados, avocado toast. I always buy this pre-minced garlic. It's what I do. I got this pasta sauce on sale. It's no sugar added um, from Yo Mama's Marinara. I've heard good things about this, so it was on sale. And then I got some plant-based bacon to try. And then for our vegetarian, they're not gonna be full vegan because I'm doing like real cheese and real dairy, I guess. But I'm gonna try the Beyond Beef. 35% saturated fat, it's really high in protein. The main ingredient in this is pea protein. We're gonna try it tonight and let you know if this actually tastes like ground beef. Never had it before. And then I did get one thing of chicken breast. One night I'll do it with the potatoes and I have like some frozen veg or canned veg. And I'm going all out with my egg bites. Here's the bacon. So at some point we'll do that. It's it's a lot, but there's like nothing better than when you stock up and you just are like, okay, do you need to go pee pee's? You gotta go out? So yeah, I'm gonna make, maybe I'll make the egg bites tomorrow in the morning, but I'm gonna do the tacos tonight and I will let you guys know uh, how these are. So I'm gonna go put all this away and I'll check back in with you guys when dinner is ready. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, I just cooked up the Beyond Meat and you just cook it the same way you would cook ground beef. Um, and I added the taco seasoning and a little bit of water, just the exact same way I would do it. And yeah, I have not tasted it yet, but it looks good. So <laughs> we'll be back with a little taste test once our tacos are all assembled. I'm not gonna lie, those tacos look amazing. Well, it's funny, cause he came down, he's like, what is that? And I'm like, he said, I, th I thought you weren't making meat. And I'm like, that's not meat. I, I thought you had a freak accident. And you were <laughs> like, you know what? Forget this, I'm gonna make real meat. <laughs> All right, let's try it. So, right. so what is it? I mean, I made our usual fave tacos. Yeah, this looks amazing. I do like an outer tortilla. Yep. I tasted a little bit of the meat by itself, and I was pretty impressed. It was phenomenal. You can't tell, right? No. That's wild. Mm -mm. Yeah. Big sleigh. <laughs> and is zero cholesterol? No cholesterol. A lot less fat, super high protein. Would you give it a 10 out of 10? Yeah, like I, I can't discern the difference. It's really, amazing. it's great. Okay. Great job. Yay. Like always, yeah, I get, mm. Beyond Beef is approved. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't tell me. Oh yeah, it's a Beyond Meat. Oh. But it looked just like regular ground beef. Like, yeah, no, it's good. In the same package and everything. Wait a second. <laughs> Should we try Beyond Burgers this summer? Hell yeah, put them like on the grill. Salad and salad <gasps> and cheese. Ooh, and I can't wait to grill and sit out and drink lemonade. <laughs> it sounds so nice. It's raining. Start the grill. We'll grill. Let's grill the Beyond Burgers this summer and we'll, or probably this spring and we'll let That's you guys know. That's really good. I'm saying. I can't tell the difference. I'm impressed. That's crazy. All right. That's crazy. That's it right there. Yay. Wow.